Hey, shit. Welcome back to Nisa Garotero. So we're here to do the Daily Collective reading for Thursday, December 8th. This is for Daily Collective for Thursday, September, mm -mm, December 8th. I've been trying to say September the whole time, and I don't know why. I don't know why I won't go back to September. December 8th. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Maybe I, so what I just said to myself was like, maybe it's because it sounds the same, but um, <laughs> for December 8th spirit, what do we have for the collective? What do we have for the collective for December 8th spirit? If this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. Mm -hmm. So we get shadow. Okay, with accelerated motion on the bottom. It's like Eight of Wands energy. All right. So I think the shadow energy is like the hermit, I think. Well, let me clarify. Okay. It's the moon. Okay. All right, so... If we were to look at this message in like traditional tarot, it would show like a fear of communicating or a fear of moving forward. Okay. So let's see. This shadow card says this. This card represents emotions, sensitivity, and a reminder that nothing in life is at a standstill. This is a world of constant flux. And the one thing is certain, everything changes. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what it says. Everything changes. This card is calling you to action. The time is now when you may have to face your worst fears and look into the dark shadows of your soul. You must learn to confront what you've avoided and walk courageously through it. Always know that life naturally revitalizes itself. And as it does, so do you. The shadow card promises that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Recognize that by no longer denying your past and letting the tears fall, you'll discover the diamonds in the treasure chest of your soul. This is a cleansing process to wash away and clear out what was once avoided, ignored, or pushed aside. This card indicates that this is a time when your psychic sensitivity may be quite intense. Learn to open up to it and if need be to turn it down your body is one big psychic antenna so just remember that you're in control of how high or low you want the reception to be mother earth can assist you in this period of change sensitivity and healing okay so you probably feeling all type of stuff now <laughs> okay right Let's see. Why is this shadow card here for you? Okay. You can't avoid it no more. Okay. Look at if you look at this card for shadow. Okay. That's like avoiding your shadow self. The things that you might need to change. The things that you might need to address or you've been avoiding. Okay. It's like looking at yourself right in the mirror. Like, yeah. Look at my dark. Okay. What do I need to change about myself? Okay, let's see. Why is the shadow card here for the collective spirit? Please make it clear. Okay, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is betrayal, okay? Being done wrong, being stabbed in the back, right? That energy, okay? So if you've encountered any type of situation where you've experienced a Ten of Swords, right? Maybe some lies or deception, okay? With the Ace of Swords here, this is about a truth. You might have gotten, gained some type of clarity or some type of truth after a Ten of Swords. Maybe this clarity or truth caused the Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. With the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, someone was like, you know what? I done been through enough. I'm going independent, okay? I'm focusing on my money. I'm moving on, okay? Yeah, because with this Nine of Swords, I mean, this Ten of Swords and this 
Ace of Swords. All right, someone received some type of truth that was devastating, okay? With the full energy, this is about taking a leap of faith, okay? Jumping into the unknown, facing what you might have avoided, okay? Facing your shadow, okay? Um, it could have something to do with your past, okay? With the Six of Cups energy, okay? Shadow. King of Wands and the Ten of Wands, right? So not taking action oh, okay. or communicating because of how difficult it would be, okay? Or um, the burdens behind it, the fear, the moon energy, okay? You avoiding things, okay? Suppressing, not taking action because of fear, because of difficulty. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the Four of Cups, this is rejecting, okay, pushing something away, right? Or holding back with the Four of Pentacles, right? It's causing someone regrets, okay? With the Five of Cups and the Empress and the Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's someone with regrets, okay? And with this Page of Swords and the um, Empress energy, this is a realization, okay? The Page of Swords is like, you know, learning more, discovering, watching, realizing, gaining information, okay? Either intuitively or um, through another source, okay? Going to class, whatever way, okay? This is learning or realizing something with the Empress energy that something is abundant, growing, uh, prosperous, okay? Um, and and maybe you maybe you allowed your fear to impact your decision making, okay? With the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, you might have pushed something away or rejected, held back, okay? And you regret that, okay? You did not take action. You did not take a leap of faith out of fear so it's asking you what do you need to address what shadow aspects of yourself need to be addressed here okay because you might be looking at something like wow that is that's you know look how that's coming through it's so abundant i wish i regret that i didn't okay i wish that i had you know taken a leap of faith on that or i wish i would have you know gone on that trip whatever it could be something small like that like oh you know I'm afraid of, uh, you know, airplanes. Okay. And I refuse to, like, address it. I refuse to, like, you know, you know, face my fear of the airplane. Okay. But now all my family and friends that went on this beautiful trip, and I'm watching them enjoy their life. And now I regret. I regret pushing away the opportunity. I regret holding back. All right. But with this accelerated motion card on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Saying things are moving forward now. Okay, so let's see. It says this this car represents speed, flight, like the airplane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Swift movement, hope, passion, and above all, endings to delays. The conditions around you are perfect and appear to be rapidly heading in the direction of your goals and desires. Luck is on your side and your enthusiasm is at an all-time high. Brace yourself as you finally witness the manifestation of what you've worked for and visualized. This is a call for initiative. But... You should also ask yourself, is there anything else in my life that I need to act on now? Be wise and take advantage of these ideal conditions. Now isn't the time for you to fight against the river of life. Trust 
have faith, and go with the flow. This strong current is taking you to a positive outcome in the future. It literally said in that moon card, in that shadow card, that one thing's for certain. My brother used to say, he's like, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. <laughs> okay, he used to say that all the time. And I said, to, one thing's for sure, and two things are for certain. Okay, change is going to happen. Everything changes. Card said it. You know what that Will of Fortune card means? Change. Destined change. You can't avoid destined change. Will of Fortune is a major arcana. Okay? Major arcana are spiritually guided. Okay? So, yeah. Why is the accelerated motion card here for the collective? And all these cards right here are major arcana. Okay. Yeah. We got the magician. Okay. That's about creating opportunities for yourself. Creation. Calling something in. Asking for it. Praying for it. Manifesting. Okay. With the tower. Out of nowhere. It just said it in the card. Like you're going to start to see your manifesting. Your, the things you're manifesting come through real quickly for you. Okay. With the strength card and the knight of pentacles here and the five of swords, don't, you better gather your strength. You better face that shadow energy, okay? If you manifested some things in for yourself and now spirit is bringing those things into your life, you better gather your strength, okay? Gather your strength so that you can go after these opportunities, all right? Because if you allow mental conflict to stagnate you, listen. I was going to say, I was going to say, you're going to regret it with the five of cups energy, but it came out with the five of pentacles energy. You're going to either experience some type of financial lack or personal lack, meaning like being alone, feeling a lack in some area. Okay. In some area, whether it's emotional, financial, whatever, you got to be able to face this shadow that you got going. Okay. Why is the celebrated emotion here for the collective? You manifested these opportunities, and now that they're coming in for you, you better be ready. Better be ready. Accelerate motion for the collective. Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Sun. You cannot make this stuff up. The Six of Wands is about victory, success, achieving. Okay? Yes. Major accomplishments here. You manifested this. And now that it's coming in for you, you better be ready, okay? King of Pentacles is about the king of finances. This has a lot to do with money, I feel. Financial abundance, okay? You, you called in some type of opportunity, right? You rejected an opportunity and held back from doing something in the past, okay? So scared to take a leap of faith. You better address that shadow side. Because with the sun card here, the seven of swords, and the two of swords, you ain't doing nothing but lying to yourself. Okay? If you avoid this again, you ain't doing nothing but being dishonest to your own self. Okay? Anything else for accelerated motion? Because this is, this is not a, a question of whether this is like going to bring you happiness. This is definitely going to bring you success and happiness. So, what you going to do, shit? With the hangman energy here, page of swords, and the four of swords. Now, you read the message. If you are um, following my videos and you following tarot and stuff like that, you read the message. Realizing that you need to heal the fear. The message said it in the shadow card, and now they're coming out here in the tarot cards. Realizing that with the four swords, you need to heal that fear. Okay? See things from a new perspective. Okay? This is about awakening to the opportunity. Okay? Yeah. 
Anything else for a celebrating emotion? Any else? Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. This Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior. Okay, someone that's been through a lot. Okay. It might be the details of why you have this fear. Okay. But now that you know that you need to heal the fear, it's time to address it. Okay. Because this wounded warrior energy, all right, is not helping the situation. What is it doing? It's having you go back and forth with your decision making, juggling. Okay. Where you can't act. Okay. You're staying stagnant. Right? And it's leaving you in this energy. Okay? Five of Pentacles. Lack. So if you want any type of success, change, victory, accomplishment in your life. In this time period. You got to address the shadow. Address the fear. So that's what I have for you, Jude. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me show you guys out. Bye.